Well, good evening, everybody. This is Sparky Mike. Welcome to the Demonoid Drifter channel. Thought I'd start out tonight by showing the freshwater tank here for a minute. And wanted to discuss what I've been doing through the winter to maintain the pH in my reef tank. Which, during the winters or height of summer, with windows shut and the AC running or the heater running, the pH does a dive and even in the freshwater tank here so and I have piped in some outside fresh air through a pump downstairs to get some outside air into this tank as well but I uh, wanted to talk about what I've been doing with this tank for the last 20 months or something since we got it it was a custom made rimless 200 gallon tank from customaquariums.com and I basically made everything else by hand including the lights on top which are two 300 watt panels and you'll see those in a couple other my prior videos but I wanted to give you a quick view of the tank upstairs tonight and the occupants within And if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I hand built the canopy, the stand, stained glass, and all the lights. So, and it's a 5 8 low iron plate glass. The bottom of the tank is a three quarter piece of plate glass. It's considered a 200 gallon island tank. And we remodeled the house to accommodate the tank so it's kind of the centerpiece to the house and we'll head downstairs and get on with what I have improved with the tank here's the lab And this is the equipment for everything upstairs. Basement sump set up. I've replaced socks with cups. Put bags of carbon inside the cups. Those work really great by the way. A lot better than the sock set up. And on a prior video I had discussed bringing in an outside air supply to feed the skimmer. To help keep the pH up in the tank. That has helped, but again, we've had to crack windows in the basement to get fresh air in here continuously, pretty much through the winter to keep the pH up. With the windows shut, I'm running 8.05 to 8.15. Um, with the windows cracked open and the outside air line, I'm getting 8.15 to 8.25 on the pH. So as of yesterday, my 10 by 0.45 filter housing, water filter housing showed up. It's a clear one. You buy the inside container to hold the media, like deionized resin or whatever. And you fill it with soda lime to become a CO2 scrubber. These five gallon pails of soda lime from Medved are about $98, almost a hundred bucks. Time you get the fittings and all the stuff in the housing, it's about a $200 investment so this is a CO2 scrubber I just got hooked up last night um, and am remaking this video as well so a buddy of mine has quit an aquaponics business and I ended up scoring a second apex system from him which had couple thousand dollars worth of upgrades done to it so I now have a backup unit to back mine up I bought it from him for a hundred dollars which included a PM3 dissolved oxygen sensor and an eight hundred dollar probe and also to try and keep my pH up I have run in a separate outside air source a second line feeding a commercial air pump 
and this air pump feeds the fresh water tank upstairs I started with and it also feeds my mixing barrel bring the pH up on my pre-mixed water and I have brought three giant air stones into the main sump so I can aerate the hell out of the sump also helped bring up the dissolved oxygen levels which in turn brought up the pH but still being in a basement I have troubles getting fresh oxygen in here so I have to basically keep a window cracked I also for that hundred dollar investment scored a, do a DOS dose for my apex system I can dose marine buffer or reef buffer into the system also combating the pH problems so the apex has been a killer tool to be able to monitor and try and control and manipulate the pH like I say the CO2 scrubber here is going to come online shortly um, as an experiment as Jake Adams from Reef Builders left a comment on one of my videos I'm always tinkering so here we are um, vertex calcium reactor running of course drives down the pH trying to drive it up with oxygen so it's always a, a balance trying to keep the two higher the pH uh, the more the corals grow the more the corals grow the more calcium and magnesium they consume so then you got to dose more affluent into the tank which drops the pH so it's a it's a fine balance basically trying to get it to all balance out um, so with with the oxygen probe and that PM3 that's a $900 add-on I also scored another 8 outlet control box and a PM2 I'm not running the salinity probe I'm strictly running the temperature probe to warm my premix barrel up with a pump that switches on and switches off to keep my premix warm also purchased a rose anemone tonight to put something in what I used to call my frag tank so I think it's going to turn into anemones and a few clownfish downstairs in my office here. But anyways, wanted to show you what I've been up to, what I've been improving on, and what I've been doing through the winter, and what I hope to do this summer, running air conditioning with the house closed up and our new scrubber here. So, any questions, concerns, comments, please leave them. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to keep updated. I'll try to post any information I come across or learn in the process. Been doing this 30 years, and I still learn something about daily. Anyways, take care. Have a great night. Again, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Thumbs up as well. Take care.